Okay. So let's continue. Yeah, is that is that clear? If there is. You're simply wrong, as a matter of fact, on your last point. Uh, there were hundreds, maybe thousands, of demonstrations against the American and British bombardment of Libya. And so I invite you to return to that point again in the quiet of the cloister. And as one rhetorician to another, let me tell you that it's seldom wise to say there's not one single of anything, especially when dealing with an Arab world of 350 million people. Uh, but you have obviously been deeply involved in your studies, too busy to know my role in the Arab Spring. You don't know, for example, that I am quite a significant international personality in Tunisia. You don't know that my friend for 20 years, Sheikh Rashid Ganoushi, whose driver I was, I mean chauffeur I was, is now the leader of the ruling party in Tunisia. You don't apparently know that I played a role in Sheikh Rashid's election campaign, the only free and fair election that has ever been held in Tunisia. You don't appear to be aware of anything I've ever written or broadcast on the revolution in Tunisia. There is no person in Britain who was more involved in the Tunisian revolution which began the Arab Spring than me. That too is a matter of fact of which you are, oddly I may say, Abdullah, apparently oblivious. You're apparently oblivious of my role in Egypt. You're oblivious to the fact that I was deported by Mubarak and declared persona non grata and began what turned out to be a mercifully short period of open agitation calling for the overthrow of Mubarak and was then able to return to Cairo in triumph upon the overthrow of the dictator Mubarak. You appear not to know that President Morsi in Egypt is a close friend of mine, and he defeated in the election an even closer friend of mine, Dr. Abu Foto, the leader of one of the trends of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, whilst President Morsi is the representative of the prevailing trend in the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. So I, me, don't recognize the Arab Spring the Arab revolutions, but if, it's not. It's the first time I mentioned it because the title of my address was "The World at War." I so Ed, uh, this is the point. Uh, last week, uh, our discussion, and uh, he is uh, George is uh, he is very deeply involved in North Africa. And yes. he said the uh, current uh, Tunisia uh, president is former, his former driver. And yes. also he's very close friend of uh, Morsi. And yes. he, uh, uh, he's reported by uh, Mubarak. Yes, yes, yes. So he is very deeply involved in North Africa, he said. Yes. So last week, my concern is uh, he told that uh, he's very close to Brotherhood. Okay. So yes. Brotherhood is a very radical, you know, uh, Islam. So he's uh, proud of uh, talking about those issues. But uh, for me, a little bit curious what he's talking about this his message. Right. So. So that there is this narrative about the Brotherhood that I'm not completely comfortable with it, that they are that radical, actually. Um, I don't think that they are as radical as they are sometimes being depicted in, uh, in the media. Uh, I think that actually Galloway's viewpoint of the Middle East is indeed 
that uh, it was it was uh, uh, divided and ruled by uh, British and Americans, and that basically have been trying to destabilize it. That uh, now democratic forces are trying to uh, take control and uh, get away of all the dictators who have been basically put in their places in these different countries in order to uh, uh, have access to um, oil in the Middle East. Um, and what I believe is that Galloway is a, uh, is a true believer in democracy and he feels that if the majority of the people want a new leader, it doesn't really matter who that leader is. Uh, as long as it is a democratic movement, as long as it is the will of the people, we should uh, we should actually uh, uh, en encourage that. So that's that's the, the basic foundation of democracy. So uh, I don't think he is uh, very judgmental about uh, about the Muslim Brotherhood in itself but more in support of the fact that uh, now uh, apparently the, it's the, the, the will of the people uh, to overthrow Mubarak and he believes that is a uh, that is a very uh, that's that's a good development in the Middle East.